Hi, my name's Catherine. I'm an academic skills consultant from the library and I just wanted to share with you a bit about the support that you can get over the Christmas period. So first of all, support in terms of accessing online resources. So you may be aware we have some fantastic online resources available um, through the library. So that's e-books, e-journals and lots, lots more. And you can search for that through um, the library search and visit the library pages to get a bit more information about that. We also have a fantastic e-library tour that can help you if you're maybe new to accessing lots of materials online or perhaps you may feel that you can do it a bit more effectively, a bit more efficiently. So if you need a little bit more help with study skills, we also offer some fantastic e-learning on our Library Skills for Learning page. So you can access the Library Skills for Learning page um, really easily. Um, just have a go at the e-learning, have a look at our guides on there. Um, so that offers a really good starting point, whether you're doing a presentation, whether you need to brush up on your critical analysis skills, referencing, things like that. We also have um, access, or you have as a student, have access to LinkedIn Learning, which offers a huge, huge range of different courses and videos um, that you can take a look at. And they cover study skills as well as professional skills and lots more. So please feel free to kind of have a look there over the Christmas period. Blackboard offers um, a direct link into your reading list for each of your subjects, but you can also access your reading list from the library website itself. So you've got two options there for accessing your reading list. And if you do that, it will take you directly to um, the materials. So just make sure anytime you're using library search, you're either logged in straight to Blackboard or you're logged in to library search. So you're going um, seamlessly through um, to those resources. So another little tip for seamless access as you're working remotely is just to add on an, uh, an extension um, to your browser, which is called Library Access. And that just helps link up um, things that you may be searching for on your internet browser to your library website. Another area that you may um, want some extra support with is just finding things that are very particular to subject area. And our subject pages have some fantastic um, databases, particular um, areas that you might need to look at that are uh, very useful for your, your subject area. And they've been written um, and created by our academic support librarians. So final tip for over the holidays is, of course, giving yourself a bit of a break, um, not working too hard, not having work always on your mind. And sometimes the best way um, to make sure that you're able to switch off properly is to do a bit of planning about when you're going to be um, switching off. So when you're going to be having time for study and when you're going to be having time um, to really have a break. So we've also got some um, time management e-learning. If um, that's time management maybe not been your strong suits and a, a blog as well on um, just some top time management tips that you could have a look at. Finally, you know, everyone's kind of probably thinking um, 2020 has been quite a difficult year. Maybe you've got one eye on 2021. And a good thing that you might want to think about doing are booking onto our academic resilience workshops to build that resilience, whatever challenges 2021 uh, may have in store for, for us. So the academic resilience workshops are called how to bounce back and build your resilience we've got one on the 16th of december and one on the 6th of january so you can have a go book onto them and really hopefully um, step into 2021 with um, a positive mindset some more skills learnt, and hopefully um, you feeling kind of supported and that you've accessed what you need to access really easily online so thanks for listening bye